Sam Pam Hoffman, Everyday Spacer. Marie asked for a demonstration of a planisphere. Today I brought you three. I have a little one, one that's pretty average size, and this really, really big one. In general, a planisphere consists of two discs, very often plastic, sometimes paper. These discs are connected in the center and they move around each other. This really little one, kind of hard to read, especially for me now. My eyes are getting old. It does have a white background with black dots representing the stars that helps a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier. And we turn these different ones to find our day and our time. I'll do that demonstration on the big one just because it's a little bit easier to understand. This particular planus here came with a filter for a flashlight and a cute little pouch to keep it in. This planisphere is a little bit like a book. There's some terrific information here. You can update it if you go to that website. I prefer them with the white background and the black dots for the stars just because it's easier for me to read them and to see things. And this one also, you'll notice, does not have a full ring on the top side. It has a full ring on the back side, which is also encased in, in this particular planisphere. So that's why I got this one. And I'll make sure you can get, uh, get to the link to buy this one too if you want it. So these two discs have different information on them. And of course, there's lots of stuff you can read about on the front and on the back. But I, what I really wanted to tell you today was you set your time and your date with for the time the top one and the date for the bottom one. And I'll go ahead and set it up for today, May the 2nd. And with the stars, they're consistently in the same places year after year. They do move a little bit, but that's in epoch, some 50 years at a time. They update stuff like this so that the stars are in better positions according to where they are in the night sky. So today, May the 2nd, at 8 p.m., this is what you'll see in the night sky and as time goes on you move the top disc so that the time matches up with May the second again still and you see that it changes so what is nice about the sky maps is they describe to you the way to use this map because you know how you're using a road map you're looking at the map and it's basically representing what's on the ground as you drive around or walk around. In this case, it's set up so that it's more like this. So that what you see in here matches the directions of the sky. However, well, like I said, with the sky maps, they have a nice description in the text around the outside of this circle, and they tell you the center of the circle is the zenith, or the very top of the sky right overhead, and as you turn the map, in this case, this isn't a planisphere, the planisphere has two disks, remember, you line up which way you're facing, with the direction north, south, east, west on the map and you should be able to see what's in the sky right there. That is a basic primer on a planisphere and I'd love to do more demonstrations for you if you like this kind of thing. In fact, uh, I'd love to learn more about the moon and maybe you would too. So that's one of the possibilities. If you have an idea of your own, please let me know. I'd love to help you out. 
and of course, I'll learn things too, as always. Until next time.